Hello, welcome to Flores Computer Academy. In this lesson today, I want to show you how to organize your documents. Document organization is very important. It keep your system clean and it make it easier for you to locate a file whenever you need to do so. I have realized that a lot of people keep documents just anywhere on their system. Irrespective of the types of the document, they just keep it anywhere. That is not supposed to be so. So in this video today, I want to show you how to organize your documents. One of the benefits of knowing and using this method is that it makes it much easier for you. Whenever you are looking for a file, whenever you are looking for a document, I've seen a lot of students whereby somebody finished typing a document and just an hour later, after coming back to the system, where do you save the document? I ask. They don't know. Oh, it's like I save it here. It's like I save it there. And then they begin to go around the system looking for it. And the process of doing that, they are wasting time. One of the purpose of technology, especially computer, is to make sure that you are able to work faster than you would do normally. So that is why it's important to know how to organize your house. Let me give you this example. You know, in your house, you have a sitting room and then you have the room where you sleep and other parts of the room in the house. So you don't dump all your clothes and all your books, everything in the sitting room. Why would you not do that? Because a visitor can come and then they look at how messy your house is. That is not the way it's supposed to be. A visitor can come in and that's the reason you have a wardrobe in your house where you keep your clothes. Some people will have a shoe, a shoe rack, okay, where you keep your shoe. Then your sitting room, there are things you keep there. You have your kitchen, you have your store. Why is it that you are not going to bring everything you have in your store to your living room? No, you are not going to do that because you want the house to be tidy. In the same way, your computer needs to be tidy. And when that is done, anytime you want to do a backup, it's easier for you to know Oh, I'm picking this folder, I'm picking that folder, and this is where they are. In that case, you are not going to lose any of your document. By the time you want to move either from one system to other, or you want to back up for the purpose of, you know, contingency planning in case the unforeseen happen to your system, you are ensure that your system is organized. So that is what we are going to be looking at in this video today i like you to watch to the end. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? i like you to subscribe right now, like this video, and share as well with your contact. Okay? Share it on your platform. And if you have any question, drop that in the comment section. I'm going to respond to it. Now, let's go to the business of the day. When you buy a system and you install the operating system, whether you are using Windows 7, you are using Windows 10, you are using Windows 11, does not matter. You have an operating system, and if you are watching this video, maybe you are not using Windows operating system, you are using Apple iOS. That is another story for another day. In this lesson, our focus is for Windows OS. If you are using Windows operating system, in the first video that I did, if you check the uh if you check through my youtube channel you are going to see the lesson one my uh computer training for beginner i explain what os is operating system when i was talking about software i said we have operating system and then we have application software i have explained that in detail so you might want to check that video as well i will drop in the description section of this video so you might want to check that now, the operating system comes with four default folders. We are going to look at those folders right now. Under this PC, this PC is talking about uh, my computer. Okay, the first folder that we have there is desktop. The second folder that we have there, this is desktop folder. Then we have document folder. We have download folder. We have music folder, picture folder, and videos folder. Now, these five folders, one, two, three, four, five, six, the six of them, 
they come with your system by default. And there is a reason why you have them there. They are not just there, you know, just to be there. Okay, the Microsoft, what the intention of the Microsoft of putting those folder there, and we're going to explain that in a short while. So what you have the desktop folder. The job of your desktop folder is that when you install any application on your system, you need the shortcut on the desktop. Remember in the first video that I did on Microsoft Word, we're looking at how do I open Microsoft Word. So what is expected is that when you install an application, you have the shortcut to your desktop. So from the desktop, you can quickly open that application. Also, if you have a document that you are currently working on, as you are working right now and you need to do something urgently, you might start that document on your desktop and save it to your desktop. But when you are done working on the document, you move it away from the desktop. So the desktop basically is best for shortcut of the application that you have installed on your system and that you are going to be using regularly. So that is what the desktop is meant for. However, a lot of people put all manner of document in the desktop. You are going to see a video on the desktop. You are going to see picture. You are going to see music and all manners of document. Some desktop has been so full that you need to find a way to be able to look critically at a document that you are looking for there. That is not supposed to be. Like I explained earlier and I gave you an analogy. Now, in your house, you are not going to put, the desktop is like the sitting room of your house. That is your living room. You are not going to dump everything on the living room of your house. That is what the desktop is all about. If I come to your house for the first time, let's say I want to do a presentation right now, and I have some sensitive document that I don't have respect for desktop, I just dump everything there. It means that what you are looking at and you are going to be looking at is my desktop. So your sensitive document will be there. And this is important for everyone that is also a career man and woman or business owner. Your sensitive document is not meant to be on the desktop because by the time you are doing a presentation or somebody just come up the soldier and then looking at your desktop and talking to you, you are working on the system and the person come. If you have some document that is not meant for public consumption on your desktop, then tell me how you are going to protect that. Now, the next folder that you have by default is document folder. The document folder is where your document should be by default just like the name implies every document microsoft word powerpoint excel whatever you are working on they are meant to be in a document folder this folder come directly with your operating system it is there by default you are not the one that created this folder it is there by default now in your document folder if you click and open it you can now go ahead and open more folder based on different kind of document you want to work on now look at this. This is my document folder. In my document folder, I have a lot of document there and different document files and folder are there. Now, as you can see over here, you can go ahead and also create document. This is based on the document I have once worked upon at one time or the other. So I created a folder in order to separate them. You can see something like WSF 2020. 2021. So if I want to look at the record of WSF in 2020, all I need to go is to come to 2020. If I need to see the record of 2021, so it's going to be much more easier for me to locate a file, to locate a document, rather than having everything dumped in a document folder. Somebody may ask, do I create a folder? It is very simple. All you need to do is to right click on the white space of the document folder or in any location where you want to create the folder. When you right click, you have all of this option. Then go over to new and select folder. Okay, so if I want to do 2024 invoice, for example, for somebody who is dealing with invoice or you have a business, I can do 2024 invoice and then I have the folder. So all the invoices that will be issued in 2024 can come into this folder. I can go further instead of having all the 2024 to make it easier. Inside the 2024 invoice folder, I can create another folder and I call it first quarter. Okay. First quarter invoice. Right. Then in 2024, this first quarter in 2024, I can right click again on the empty space, new folder, and I do second quarter invoice. 
So I can create more folder under this 2024 invoice folder to have first quarter, second quarter. So you can decide to break it down as much as possible. If possible, you want to do instead of first quarter, second quarter, I want to do January invoice, February invoice. But you know now that, okay, if I go to this PC, this is a directory of where the folder is. And I go to document, inside the document, I can go to 2024 invoice. If I get the 2024 invoice, I can look for January, I can look for February. So in that case, by the time I'm asked to provide an invoice for something, if I could remember the month that that invoice was done, it is easier for me to find. So this is how to organize your system. And that is what the document folder is meant for. If you're a teacher, you're into teaching, you can go ahead and create a folder and call it your class. Maybe I'm teaching GSS3, or let me say primary four, I can do primary four, okay? You do primary four, and then if I open the primary four folder, I double click to open it, I right click the folder, there is nothing there right now. I come over here, I create another folder. I can create for a particular subject, okay? And then I create the other subject inside the primary four. So by the time I want to copy my work on the system, I just come over to the document, I copy primary four. Primary four has a subset of other folder that contain all the job that I've done, okay, when I was the teacher in that class. So it's easier for me to be able to back up. So it's not that I have one file in document, I have another one in desktop. That is not the best way to manage the house. And like someone jokingly said, if I look at your system, I can tell how you manage your house. That is just on a lighter mode. Now let's go to the next folder that comes by default. That is download folder. Whatever you download from the internet, come straight to your download folder. That is where it's supposed to be. Don't redirect them to any other location. Then you have the music folder. If you're a lover of music or you have anything that has to do with audio, everything should go into music folder. Music folder for your, all your audio messages, your audio teaching, all of them should come to your music folder. And then if you have new music that is coming on, you can go ahead and create a folder and put them there. Picture folder should contain all your pictures. Then you can also have a subfolder inside the picture folder to contain different things that you are working on. From there, you have the video folder. So you can create a video folder as well and have all the videos that you are working on. So these six folders, they are here by default. The six folder, desktop, document, download, music, picture, and video. And I've shown you how to create a new folder. So this is how to manage your system effectively. Going forward, I believe your system will look good, better than it may currently be. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now, if you have not done so, so you can be notified when I upload the next training. Thank you for watching.